47 Star Student of the Month. Hey, our Star Student of the Month, no stranger, Jayla Duncan is our Star Student of the Month from Childersburg, Alabama, where she'll be graduating in just a few months. Jayla, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you with us today. And it seems like just yesterday we talked, but graduation date is upon us almost, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm tell excited. Us, yeah, <laughs> tell us a little bit about what's going on with you right now. Well, right now I'm really active in school, senior year, so I definitely want to make the best of it. <laughs> um, I have a lot of cheer stuff going on right now. We're in basketball season, so that's really exciting. And I've also been doing a lot of pageant stuff, pageant appearances pretty much every weekend. So it's been busy, but I've been really enjoying myself. Talk about your family a little bit. Who are they? My family. My mom is here with me today. Yeah, she's, watching she's me right your now. cheerleader. <laughs> yeah, she is. And um, my dad and my granny, they've all been with me through this really busy time in my life and my aunt. So they're my village, and I know that they're sick of me, but we're going to get through it. We have senior <laughs> year and so much more to go, and they still have to deal with me in college. I get a little break, but not much, and so I'm just really thankful for them. Tell us about your school background. School background, well, I'm in a lot of clothes at my school, which I absolutely <laughs> love. And with the pandemic last year, we didn't get to be as active as we wanted mm. to be. And so we're really playing catch up this year. But we're having so much fun. I love getting to know all the younger underclassmen since I am a senior now, which is really sad. But a lot of them are my friends. And being able to, I guess, make new traditions at my school and really set the tone for how the year is going, as well as clubs and cheer goes and soccer. is something I've really enjoyed and connecting with new friends. So what's happening your senior year, uh, just a few months to graduation? What's going on now? Now I'm in the process of really <laughs> making decisions, which is the hardest thing. I've applied to several colleges, and so now mm -hmm. it's just a matter of choosing where I want to go. So I guess that's the biggest thing right now. I know my top two are the University of Alabama and Sanford University. And so I guess I kind of need to be making a decision sooner <laughs> rather than later. And that's really the biggest thing on my mind right now. But I'm really excited. I know that I'm just going to let God guide me and tell me where I really need to go. Talk about your pageant life. Pageant life. <laughs> well, I currently serve as Miss Hoover's Outstanding Teen. And so I actually had a pageant appearance yesterday. I absolutely love the city of Hoover. I love my director. Her name is Julie Bentley. And just being able to represent such a great city while also doing stuff within my own community is great. And they've been so supportive. And I really can't wait to represent them in the state pageant, which will be in March this year. How did you get started with, in the pageant field? I started when I was seven years old, and I actually started because me and my mom watched a show called Tallers and Tiaras, and now you see them on TV, the girls are crying, and they're just <laughs> really not having a great time, and I don't know why, but I was like, you know, I want to do that, and uh, my mom put me in my first pageant when I was seven. I didn't win, but I really enjoyed it, and I just kept going with it, and so I transitioned from beauty pageants to now scholarship pageants, which I really enjoy. I've earned a lot of scholarship money just by doing it for the past four years, and I've made so many great friends. And it's just a really wonderful organization, the Miss Alabama organization that I'm involved in, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love it. What have you learned? Uh, by the way, we're talking with, with uh, Jayla Duncan, who's a senior at uh, Childersburg High School. What have you learned through the years uh, uh, from the pageant arena? I really learned that communication is key. I'm talking to so many people and representing so many areas. And so just learning how to effectively communicate with the people in that community and really learning the communities that I represent and learning how I can make a difference in that community has really helped me evolve as a person. And I feel like I've taken something away from every city I've been able to represent and really use that to mold my life and the things that I want to do. Younger children are very special to you. Yes, <laughs> yes they are. Uh, when you look... And here we are in uh, mid-November, uh, and it uh, won't be long till you graduate in May. Talk about what lies ahead between now and graduation. Now and graduation, I'm really just making the most of high school and just really trying to make all of those memories. I really don't want to miss anything, and so <laughs> that means going to every game, you know, talking to as many people as I can, making new friends with underclassmen, building the relationships I have with my fellow classmates. I don't want to look back and think, what if? Mm -hmm. What if I would have done this? What if I would have done what if I would have done that? And so just really making the most of my time, hopefully leaving a legacy behind at my school as well as my community. 
When did you start cheering? I started cheering when I was in sixth grade. I tried out for the team <laughs> and I made the middle school team. I always wanted to cheer rec league, but I just, I guess I didn't want it bad enough. And so <laughs> I started middle school and I absolutely love it. I've been cheering this year. We have a JV team and we also have a varsity team. And so I'm really going to be sad to leave them next year. I absolutely love my team. and We're actually competing at the state competition in December, my competition team. And so I'm really excited about that. We've been working really hard. And so I'm really hoping that we can come home with a trophy and definitely represent Children's Brain in the best way possible. I've known Jayla for a number of years. As a matter of fact, uh, she's been a star student on here before, among other accolades that she has received. Uh, uh, you're really um, strong in community service. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I have my own nonprofit organization called Be the Spark, which stands for Sharing Positivity and Random Acts of Kindness. And so through my nonprofit organization, I'm able to help implement anti-bullying strategies within schools, not only in my community, but in surrounding communities. And so that comes with donating different anti-bullying resources, mm -hmm. such as bookmarks, pencils, folders, different things like that, just to bring awareness to bullying. It's something that I've really enjoyed and being able to start my own nonprofit organization and really spread that out into communities has been, has been amazing. And I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Who is some people that God has placed in your life uh, down through the years and you say, wow, that had to be a God thing? I would definitely say all of my pageant directors because mm -hmm. they've really pushed me. And I guess where one director left off, the other director picked up. And they've been able to really set the tone of the things I wanted to do and support me throughout the way. And definitely my family, my mom and my granny literally helped me with everything. And they're there every step of the way. My mom here today, my granny on the way. <laughs> you know, they're just always there. And I'm so thankful for them. And I don't know how I would make it without them. Jayla Duckin, who's a senior at uh, Children's Work High School. Uh, a little bit about the Advanced High School Diploma. Explain that. So we have to take certain classes at our high school to have an advanced diploma, which will look really good on a resume. And so those classes aren't that easy, but I'm definitely thankful for it. I'm actually in my Spanish 2 class right now, and it is so hard, but <laughs> I'm learning Spanish. It'll be great because I plan to major in communications to be a news reporter. And so I think it'll be really nice to learn another language and hopefully be fluent in it just so that I can connect with people on a different level. Does... Uh your scholastic awareness, uh, your, your, your classes, your studying, does that come natural to you? Or is it really something you have to work at? I actually like school, so I oh, guess wow. it comes pretty natural to me. I, I really like school. Are you feverish this morning? <laughs> no, I actually like school. I mean, I've always liked it. When I have to miss yeah. school, it bothers me. Like, it actually bothers me. I would say my favorite subjects are history and science. And so it's, my parents never really had to force me to study or to do my work. It's always something that, I mean, obviously you don't enjoy homework, but I enjoy the reward that comes from it, which is making good grades mm -hmm. and, you know, feeling really good about yourself when you, ace, when you ace a test. And so I don't mind it. Speaking of good grades, talk about your history of your grades. It's been fantastic. Yeah, I've been able to remain on honor roll every year since. My, the beginning of my education, <laughs> which I think I'm very proud of for sure. And it's something that I hope to remain doing in college, which definitely won't be easy. Yeah. But I know that if I stay focused and set my priorities, then I'll be able to do it. How would you like to be remembered uh, as a senior at Childersburg High? As a senior at Childersburg High, I like to be remembered as someone who really stepped in and showed that school spirit, someone who truly loves CHS, someone who goes out of their way to help a person in need, and someone who participates in traditions, keeps them going, and maybe even create new ones. I just want the underclassmen to look up to me as a role model and as someone who wanted mm -hmm. the best for our school. Before we go this morning, uh, you hosted Sweat Out. That is a bullying yoga event to raise money for uh, CMN, which is a children's miracle network. Uh, how troublesome is bullying in America today? I think it's an issue that continues to be downplayed. We see it as something like kids will be kids or bullying is not a big deal compared to other issues. And we only really look at it when it gets out of hand and it comes to individuals harming themselves or even suicide. And so me doing things like the sweat out bullying events and just raising awareness about bullying is so important to me. 
because I think it's so important to bring awareness to an issue before it gets out of hand. And so I'm hoping that by spreading my message to people in my community as well as surrounding communities, we can really shed a light on bullying and hopefully prevent it all around. All right, uh, Jayla Duncan, a senior at Childersburg High School. She's right here in this camera. She is our star student of the month. Jayla, happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. More Daybreak coming up right after this.